Once upon a time, in some kind of kingdom. Mikhail Baryshnikov presents Stories from My Childhood, a collection of exquisite animated films from the vaults of Soyuz Multfilm, Russia's premier animation studio. Today, Rob Lowe, Daphne Zuniga, and Hector Elizondo star in Ivan and His Magic Pony. And now, Ivan and His Magic Pony. Beyond the Rainbow Valley, across the Sunshine Bay, past the Winter Mountains, and the Summer Sea's white spray. In a small woodland village, in a cabin of pine, there lived three brothers, once upon a time. The oldest had brains, the brains of a mule. The second was as sharp as a worn-out tool. But it was Ivan the youngest whom they called the fool. One night, their father sent them out to guard the fields till day. Some wretched thief was lurking about, stealing stacks of hay. While the older brother searched and pondered, the middle brother's mind just wandered. Too cranky and lazy to cover more ground, they hoped that the thief was no longer around. <clears throat> Uh, Ivan, you go and search all around from one end of the field to the other. And we'll stay here and sleep. Thief! Uh, I mean, beat, beat that thief if he comes this way. Ha! <laughs> That'll keep the little fool busy while we get some rest. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> There are so many stars. One, two, three. How shall I ever keep track of them? Four, five, six. Uh, uh. I don't have enough fingers to count all of them. Stars, this. Oh, so you must be the one. Oh, what a beautiful thief you are. Now, don't you try to get away. Now I've got you. You get away! Stars on high! What a ride! <laughs> oh, that was close! Oh, oh. I'm sorry, my name is Ivan. Oh, here, have a drink. You must be thirsty. Kind lad, I failed to throw thee, so now it seems you own me. But if you'll only let me go, upon you I will now bestow two colts of stunning grace who'll set your hearts to race. <sighs> Swift they come, in silken black, their gold-spun manes streaming back. 
Their eyes ablaze and tails a swirl. Their hooves inlaid with pearl. Oh! 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 And because your heart is pure and true, I give another one to you. One who isn't quite so grand. He's barely bigger than a lamb. So odd and so dear. Look, he comes here. A magical pony with two humps on his back, his ears a yard long, and his eyes shining black. The colts you may sell for silver or gold, but never this pony whose worth is untold. Hi there. For he'll be your friend till the sun grows cold. Magic Mayor. Then farewell, I must fly, for my freedom's in the sky. Away! Thank you, Magic Mayor, and please stay away from our hay! <laughs> A lazy, no good for nothing, drinks and sleeps all day. You ask me how I know such things, because I am the same way. Oh, brother dear, please pass the bottle, let's dance away our cares. We'll dance all... <gasps> I must be seeing things. Oh, it's a lumpy little donkey. How could that little fool have gotten horses like these? Who cares? Oh boy, they'll make us rich! <laughs> the golden sun is rising And the grass is wet with dew The flowers in the meadow are singing ooh, happy how do you do and it's just me and pony on a morning so <gasps> oh, 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 oh my beautiful coats <laughs> my beautiful coats <laughs> Oh, my wonderful cults with their golden names. Didn't I take good enough care of you? Oh, what wretch has stolen you away? Oh. Two wretches, no others. The ones you call brothers. Huh? Oh! Let's ride to town. I know a shortcut. The fastest around. Quickly, little master, hop on up. And don't look down. Oh, 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 wonderful pony. Pony! Sorry, now hang on tighter. Hang on tighter, I'll say. Oh, oh. Oh, what 
is that? We must go down and see. There's no heat and no smoke, but <laughs> ten hatfuls of light. It's a firebird's feather, little master. Beware, its mischievous light is nothing to play with. Leave it behind, dear master. I beg you, many sorrows, cares, and woes. Whoa. Follow everywhere it goes. I'll take good care of it. Nothing will happen. There you go. Some may think their luck will double, but this feather brings only rewards of trouble. The next day in the city square, people came from everywhere to buy and sell their everywhere. Barrels! Burgles! I've got beautiful boots for sale! My cakes are the cheapest! My fruit is the sweetest! My bread's never stale! In the zone. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> what in blazes? I I'd never uh, Oh Mmm 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 Oh do hurry Oh, look, dear father. Oh, dear mother. Oh, absolute perfection. And I might add, we're the only of a czar. Fortunately, that's me. <laughs> oh, your czarness. Your highnessness. Yes, yes, bowing and scraping. Can't you people come up with something more original? But oh, just look at these magnificent creatures. Never have I laid eyes on such equine splendor! Oh! Now then, where is the owner? You two, can you tell me? Now, who is their master? Hmm? Uh, uh, they're mine, Czar. Hmm. I am Ivan, their master. Hmm. Oh. And I suppose you expect me to buy them, right? <laughs> no, Czar. Just trade. What do you want to trade for them, eh? Um, oh, two times uh, five scoops of silver. Let's see, five scoops, two times ten. <gasps> that makes ten. But with the Czar's half-off discount, that makes five. <laughs> Agreed? Yes, that's greed. It's a deal, then. You, bring Ivan his silver. Easy does it. That isn't oatmeal you're serving. Done! Oh. Gee. Brothers, aren't you ashamed stealing like that? Here, you may be smarter than me, but I still have my honesty. Stable master, what are you looking at? Get me my new colt, now!
it over? The boy stopped them. <laughs> it seems these cults will only behave for you. Therefore, Ivan, I hereby appoint you head of all stables. <gasps> Can he be serious? I'll do it. Forever, if you let me. So, am I not your, your stable master? Have I been cast aside for this boy? You! will be his assistant. Go and follow Ivan's orders. So then, my new stable master, <laughs> take my colts to my stables. Find a way most cruel to unstable that fool. It came to pass by and by, when the stables were cloaked in midnight sky, that the cunning rival came to spy. Thanks for your help, Pony. Ah, now for some light to work by. <gasps> there. Oh, isn't it beautiful, Pony? Oh, such beauty to behold Far beyond measure Hooves of pearl and manes of silver to treasure some may call me fool because I dream beyond the stars so fool I'll be you're my reward how beautiful you his feather and by its light <laughs> I'll turn his days into darkest night oh sweet bee maiden give me a little kiss 
Whatever his name. Well, he's been keeping a secret from you. Oh? Not gold or silver treasure. He's been hiding a firebird's feather. Yeah! <laughs> <gasps> Give me that. Out of my way. Ah! Whee! La 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 la. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, my, oh, my goodness, look, oh, mine, oh, mine, oh, mine, oh, mine, oh, mine, oh, mine, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And what's more, the wicked fool claims that upon your order, he'll bring you the firebird itself. What? He's been boasting about it to everyone. What? <laughs> but no one can catch a firebird. Bring that little bolster to me! Yes, right, sir! Yes, sir! sir. Right, oh, right, right away! Oh. Oh. Come here. So, my stable master, here I have shown you all kinds of generosity, and how is it you repay your czar? You hide the firebird's feather. Oh, how could one ever find a firebird's feather? Not I, good czar. How could a fool like me ever come to find such a miracle? Oh, don't you lie to me, boy. All miracles belong to the czar. <laughs> what about that? Oh, forgive me, Your Majesty. Uh, uh, I didn't mean to hide it from you. Oh, very well then. Since it's your first offense, I'll let it go this time. But I found out that you have been boasting to everyone that if I order you to do so, you would be able to catch me a firebird. May I be struck by lightning if I ever boasted such a thing. I now decree that if two days from now you have not captured a firebird and placed it here before me, alive at my feet, you will be hanged. <laughs> Go, poster. <laughs> First the crying, then the dying. Why didn't I listen to you, Pony? <laughs> that Firebird's feather is... It's brought such trouble. Don't worry, I've got something in mind. We will manage come the morrow. <laughs> but how? Oh, Pony, they say that no one has ever been able to catch the Firebird. <laughs> Who's they? If you happen to know the right kind of tricks and set the right trap, it's not hard at all. So dry your eyes and mark my word. We'll soon go seeking the firebird. As the sun's rays spread like golden bunting, the magic pony carried Ivan hunting. They come before dawn, craving nectar sweet. Mix grain, honey, and wine. Wine? Yes, and they'll swoon at your feet. Thank <laughs> you. 
good. Sign of Ivan? Huh? Oh, chicken, sir. Hey, hey, any sign of Ivan? Uh, oh. hmm. No Ivan. Hmm. No Ivan. If he doesn't return, I'll hunt him down. Then he'll hang from the highest gallows in town. <laughs> Charming little rope. We look so handsome round his throat. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Make way! Excuse us! Uh, 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 you dirty dog! You little travesty! I've got your firebird, Your Majesty! So, where is my firebird? If you please, Czar. First, we have to be very, very careful. Uh, I think it would be a good idea to close all the doors and windows. Then, you'll be safely left in the dark. Ah, very well then. You heard him. Seal all the doors and shutters tight. He's bluffing, Your Majesty. Oh dear. That's my 
my bird, you coward! <laughs> Don't try to get away! Where's the fire, you old goat? Here! You'll be safe in here! <laughs> Lovely. Ooh. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, man, it's coming up here. <laughs> so to speak. And now, I declare you commander of good advice. Thank you, Czar. <laughs> it's so big of you, uh, so to speak. <laughs> this isn't over, my dear little man. Ow! He's the cleanest saw, the cleanest saw around. Oh, we're the royal Banya team. Stop this talk and give me steam. Give me steam, make me clean. Make him clean with steam. La 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 Sir, that Ivan of yours, this time he's been boasting of an even finer bird you'll catch for you. It's the mystical sea maiden whom you so desire. He puffs with pride that he'll make her your bride. If by Christmas snow she is not brought to me, I'll have you drowned. In the frozen river. Once again, Ivan turned to his friend so true, and the little magic pony knew just what they should do. The days and nights turned into weeks, but on they rode, forsaking sleep. Till they climbed to a place where at last they spied the realm of the sea maiden on the other side. Daughter of the moon is she, who sails a golden boat at sea, and in her hands a silver oar to guide her ship from shore to shore. Ah, she must be a truly beautiful sight. Ah. Oh, but won't she be awfully hard to find? Don't worry, I've got something in mind. So they pitched a cunning tent toward the ocean's west, hoping the sea maiden would stop to rest. Then, just to be sure, a final lure, a luscious banquet he laid in there to tempt the wondrous maiden fair. Oh, my love, if you can hear me, how I wish you could be near me. If your heart is pure and true love, then I will be
She gets away. Huh? Oh. Hurry! Oh. <laughs> December snows covered the city square. People came from far and near to forget their troubles at the Christmas fair. But there was no sign of Ivan anywhere. Depressing for you, my Tsar. That wicked slave, Ivan, has surely lied to you about finding the mystical Sea Maiden. I believe that you should cut off his foolish head. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Ah. It's her. I saw her in my dreams. Faster, don't lose them! Oh, please! Hey! hey. Uh, oh. I'll get you, boy. In doom you'll dwell. I'll toss you down a nice dark well. And now that Ivan did his share, the Tsar did woo the maiden fair with sugary rhymes, his flattery oozed. The sea maiden smiled, but was not amused. Oh, dearest maiden, my love's so deep. Without your love, I will not sleep. Wait, wait, I'm not finished. Oh, darling, let us always be together. Be my queen forever. Let us be wed on the morrow. Be my bride, and love will follow. Oh, Tsar, upon my life. No, I don't wish to be your wife. Oh, sea maiden, dearest dove, how can I ever win your love? Oh. oh. There is a ring I have lost in the deepest ocean. You find it for me if you so much devotion. Hey, fetch me Ivan at once. Here is my order. Ivan, you will go to the ocean. And there, you will fetch me the sea maiden's ring that rests on the bottom. Huh? So bring it as ordered. And then you will be amply rewarded. 
Well, at least I know it's at the bottom of the ocean. I mean, that really narrows it down. Well then, enough of this standing around and yapping. Go find me that ring! Now be off with you! There's a good lad. Ow! Now get moving! Ow! Off once again at the Tsar's request, Ivan and Pony journeyed west ten thousand leagues. They rode each day. They rode from winter into May. Whew! Too warm for this. Don't need these either. At last at the ocean, a sight to astound. An old giant whale on its back, a town. Hear how sadly he sighs. What could have brought him such suffering? He swallowed 30 ships one day. And here's the price he had to pay. The ocean doomed him to forget all about his crime. Then made him carry at his debt. The families left behind. What friends are these who come around? Where are you from and where are you bound? Oh, we come from the capital far away. We're looking for the Sea Maiden's Ring. It's lost beneath the waves somewhere. Perhaps by chance you've seen it down there. Beneath these waters I cannot spy. I'm being punished, though I know not why. Oh, I can tell you and set you free, but first agree to find the ring. Agreed! Agreed! I will be freed! Yahee! Good people! Good people! Flee for the shore! Flee to your true homes, dear! Your lost sons and fathers, husbands and brothers, will soon join you there! Find your kids and pack your bags! Head for land and clover! This ocean's town's about to drown. Your whale will soon turn over. Did he say drown? Who? Who Ooh, can it be? Ho, everyone! We must flee! King Whale, I'll tell you truly why the ocean treats you cruelly. Thirty ships you once did swallow. Let them go and end your sorrow. Good friend. 
friends for freeing me. And now the ring I will bring to thee. Why isn't he back yet? Oh, that ring isn't even down there, I bet. <laughs> we'll never forget you. Thank you, Whale. And thank you, my friends. Farewell! Mm. Uh, it's awful heavy mm. for just a ring. Whoa. Well done, Master. The ring at last. Now hop on up and hold on fast. Your Sarzy Poo, please come to the door. I have a gift for you. <laughs> I found your ring to prove my love. So let us be married, Zarina, my dove. <laughs> but I'm much too young for an old man like you, all hunched and gray, toothless too. But I'm still limber. See? Easy as pie. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> oh. Here, check the glass. Don't be shy. Take a good look. Mirrors don't lie. And then, old father, reflect within. For I seek a pure heart beneath the skin. But with all my years and deeds behind me, how could I ever grow young again, darling? Huh? There is a way to make old things new. All it takes is a heart that's true. Here's what to do. Tomorrow at dawn in the courtyard wide, have three great kettles placed side by side. Have the first one filled with water chilled, the second the same, though heated by flame. And then to end these morning toils, fill the third kettle with milk that boils. And so, if it's youth that you think you need, then to woo me, may I suggest you take heed. Mm -hmm. Your clothes you must shed as you leap without dread into the pot filled with milk boiling hot. Oh. Then you must jump in the second kettle where the water is hotter than molten metal. Oh. Then dip in the ice water for as long as you can. If pure-hearted, you'll rise a handsome young man. Uh, 
Oh, your grace, don't despair. Why not let Ivan jump first into the pots? Then one, two, three, it's safe for thee. Ha ha! Oh, oh! So the Tsar asked Ivan if he wouldn't mind trying to brave the kettles without boiling and dying. Well, how can you be so cruel? Am I a chicken to be put in a pot? I would gladly jump into the kettle of cold water for you, but I won't jump into the other two that be boiled to death. Coward! Don't try to bargain! Guards, cease! Good! Now throw him in the dungeon and let him stew there all night long. Then in the morning, we'll give him a nice hot bath and see how he cooks up. Huh? <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> like the end of me, Pony. <laughs> in the morning, the Tsar will force me to... my death in the kettle of... <laughs> boiling milk and... water. <laughs> it was a firebird's feather that caused all your sorrow. But we will manage come the morrow... And so at dawn, before the task, ask the Tsar this one last request. To see your little humpbacked friend just one more time before the end. Jump in! <laughs> Sorry, my lord, please. I beg of you a final word. Will you let me say goodbye to my little horse before I die? <laughs> hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm, whatever. Quit stalling. He can't hear you, boy. Over you go! 
Made that fool something to see. Wait till the maiden gets a load of me. Yeah, ah, 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 can't forget that. All right, I, I'm gonna take her. Uh -huh. Handsome and young, here I come. I'm coming, sea maiden. Ah, oh, huh? oh, no, 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 wait. I'll be much better than him. No, oh. As they walked hand in hand, the sea maiden knew that at last she'd found a heart pure and true with the old Tsar gone she cast off her ring. And the kingdom rejoiced as winter became spring. Was told near and far how the little fool Ivan became Ivan the Tsar. And happily they lived in love, never lonely. Tsar Ivan and his queen and their little magic pony. <laughs>